Oh, what's up, Captain? What are you no. what, what are you doing? We're filming the intro. The intro? Yeah. For the vlog? Yep. I'm not cut out for that. No? Where's Sean at in the van? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen him. You haven't seen him? I haven't seen him. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Yeah, I'm here just doing a little bit of reconnaissance work underneath this deck because we're getting into some of the detail work. We're going to be doing decking. We're going to be doing fascia. We're going to be trimming out this bench and the bar. Just a lot of really cool stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned. For short runs of steps like this, what we like to do is set a post in the ground. We'll set that in concrete and then we lag into that and uh, makes it super solid and it's also a lot easier than pouring a big slab, especially on a wraparound step like this. Do it three more. Go, oh, Catherine. What's up, Anthony? Happy Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It Wednesday. is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. What are you doing? We are doing this ceiling. We are putting UFP edge, thermally modified wood. What's it mean that it's thermally modified, Anthony? That when it's cold out, it stays warm. Like, you know, when it's cold and you wear a thermal? Thermally modified means that it is heat treated with steam mm. and pressure, and it basically cooks all the sugars out of the wood. It's much more stable and it's resistant to pests and water and all that kind of silly stuff. How about, you're a really smart guy. Thanks, man. So what I had to do before we put what? the ceiling up, we pack it down three quarters, just mainly to change the direction of it. Um, we have eight foot boards, so we just gotta cut a little piece off, no seams, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Let me show you what we're gonna do here for our riser because typically what we like to do is have our risers and all of our fascia detail meet up here, but we're gonna do it a little bit different. What we did was just rip these boards down. Okay. We're gonna flip Five. this one upside down so that the I cut is covered by our border. Yes. And then we'll bring this up. So basically we have about a 3 16 gap between these and our seam will be right in the middle of the riser. I think it's gonna look really cool. Basically what we're gonna have here for this uh, step detail and border detail is our border piece on the deck coming over like this. This will be miter and it'll come down, folding over the edge. We're gonna be nice and tight here. This will have a nice miter on it, it'll fold right down. I think it's gonna look really sweet, especially with that drone pick and uh, we're gonna do the same thing on the bar actually. So it's all gonna tie together. I think it's gonna be a really nice little detail. All right, so we're getting a good amount of these stairs done here, and you can start to see what this detail is gonna look like. On the sides, you can see we have that trim just going down the side of the stair. We have that on both sides, and then we're gonna do kind of like a basket weave effect with that same idea across the tread. So this one is coming down like this. This one is gonna come down here, and then our border is gonna do the same thing and go like that. So. It'll have a really cool like kind of crisscross basket weave effect and uh, just a little bit different, but I think it's gonna be a really cool new little detail. All right, 
right, now I'm on to my next piece that's gonna waterfall down. I wanted to have this piece in just so I can get an exact measurement because this is gonna land right on top. I'll show you a really easy way to figure this out. I'm gonna butt to my trim over there. Because this is gonna miter down, I'm gonna put a scrap here. And I have 79 and 3 16 But we're gonna gap this side 3 16 so I'm gonna actually be right at 79 inches. So I can cut my long point on a board, hook that, measure back 79 inches, cut it, should fit right in here. And because I wanna be efficient, I can measure this leg as well. Have this scrap here, you know I'll use this. Got seven and five eighths. So I'll cut both of those, get them up here, and uh, should fit like a glove. Then we'll lock it in for justice. Anytime you make a bevel cut like this or a miter, you always wanna cut that long point first. And because we have the saw already set up for the 45, we wanna get both of those long points cut. Now I can hook my long point, get an exact measurement. Oh God. All right, let's see if they fit. Spoiler alert, they definitely will. Now what I like to do with these cuts is just have it just a hair over top of that. So when I drive a screw in, it's gonna push it down and it's gonna make it nice and flush. Boom, just like that. What do you think? Looks pretty perfect. And what'd you call me again? Huh? What'd you call me again? Uh, a mighty... Mighty man. Mighty man and the miter master. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. You're welcome. What's what? 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 It's looking what? good. It's looking great, John. It's looking it really good. Love what you did with the ceiling here. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. You can see you got some of this. Some, uh, uh, decorators. Yep, you got some dark slate. Up. You got some dark slate going here. You need a ladder? Nate, no. We're gonna trim these out with the same profile and then we'll slap a full board on the front and back. Woo, make it look real sweet. Did you do Wordle today? Of course I did. You did? I didn't do yeah. it yet. Got it, I think I got it in. Don't show me. <laughs> Who else is playing Wordle? Drop a comment. Let us know. Got it on the last try. It's a hard one today. Well, that's it for this vlog. It's over. We were gonna we're have. Done. I know we were no gonna more. have no more. We were gonna have more to this vlog, but there was just so much in this one. We decided we're gonna split it up into two parts. So part two of part two is coming really soon. <laughs> so on the next one, we're gonna get into trimming out the bench, doing some really cool privacy screens, Crazy. and a couple other things. So what should they do? Stay tuned. Nope. Make sure you hit subscribe. That too. And until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living. <laughs>